in the bustling lanes of Delhi, where life pulsates with energy, there lies a house that stands as a chilling testament to one of India's most baffling mysteries. It's here, in the heart of Barari, that a tale unfolds, one that merges faith, psychology, and the ever-blurring line between reality and superstition. Picture an ordinary morning, with the city waking up to its usual cacophony, only to be stunned by a discovery that would send ripples of horror nationwide. Eleven members of a family, from the youngest to the eldest, found dead, suspended from an iron grill. A once lively home transformed into a site of dread. As investigators scoured the scene, trying to piece together the last moments of this seemingly harmonious family, they stumbled upon a set of handwritten notes. These notes hinted at a spiritual salvation, a ritual that promised a better life beyond the mortal realm. But was this mass suicide, as it seemed, driven by a shared spiritual fervor? Or was there a more sinister narrative lurking beneath the surface? The deeper the dive into the family's history, the more enigmatic their story became. The patriarch of the family had passed away years before, but his influence lingered. His photographs were found with scribbled instructions, suggesting that maybe, just maybe, he was still communicating from beyond the grave, guiding his family towards a transcendental journey. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Locals whispered of eerie occurrences in the neighborhood, tales of apparitions, inexplicable shadows, and uncanny sensations that seemed to originate from the house. Could it be that this tragic event was not just a case of misguided faith, but an intersection of the living and the supernatural? Mental health professionals weighed in hinting at shared psychosis, a condition where delusional beliefs spread within a close-knit group. But could an entire family, spanning different generations, be so deeply entangled in a shared hallucination? As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the lines between fact and fiction became even more tangled. Skeptics dismissed it as a tragic consequence of blind faith. Yet, believers pointed towards the inexplicable, the uncanny coincidences that defied logic. The Barari tragedy remains an enigma. Was it a mass suicide? A culmination of shared delusions and unwavering faith in the afterlife? Or were there darker forces at play, pulling the strings of fate in ways we're yet to comprehend? In a world that often seeks black and white answers, the Barari case stands as a haunting reminder of the gray zones that exist. It's a tale that challenges us to confront our understanding of faith, the power of collective belief, and the mysteries that, sometimes, are too daunting to decode. As the city of Delhi moves forward, the echoes from that fateful house in Barari still linger, urging us to question probe, and to wonder about the realms that might exist just beyond the veil of our understanding.